Hi everyone. The way we manage and provide media services is changing quickly. With it comes new challenges. What was once traditionally managed by vendor-specific workflow engines can no longer keep up with the value of a truly automated end-to-end -end management platform for all your media asset workflows. Data Miner Media Asset Management Solution automates and unifies technical media workflows end-to-end -end across any technology and any vendor. Here's a quick look. This is an overview page of all my assets with some KPIs like number of assets by type and so on. In the middle section we have a list of all the indexed assets along with their associated info like provider, genre, license, start, end time and more. When you click on one you'll see the corresponding files listed on the section below along with additional information like their status, type, location and more. Because this is a demo, we're not really storing all the files here, just some, as you can see on the status and on the KPIs up there. Let's now take a look at the processes. This solution runs on top of process automation, so Data Miner dynamically allocates resources, including expensive ones like uh, quality check servers, for example, that can be shared across multiple assets. Here are some of the process definitions, and this one, for example, handles the ingest of a new asset. When it gets dropped on the watch folder, it will start a workflow, and this is a visual representation of that process. Gateways essentially evaluate conditional statements, so here it will decide whether and where to move the files to a holding place, check the file extensions and process them accordingly, like copying JPEG folders to DALE, or importing video files on 4TV catalog, looking for season and episode data on XML files and handle them adequately, handle potential missing files and finally copy files to Capella for transcoding. This is just an example, but uh, you can design your process definitions according to your own requirements. For example, if you use Intera Baton, you can simply add an activity to run integrity checks on your video files, or maybe even add an extra step to send a mail notification. There are, of course, other processes listed here to do other things, like this one, which will evaluate their associated license data and remove expired assets. In this demo, we'll be dropping one of these assets in the watch folder. When that happens, it will start the workflow we just saw before, the watch folder gets checked every minute, so we'll just jump forward here. When it starts, we can see the tokens flowing through the process as files get ingested and handled. Each token is one asset file, but when many assets get dropped on the watch folder at once, they are queued for ingest and priorities can be assigned. For example, if you need your sports content to be available immediately, therefore should be ingested first. When the workflow is complete, we can verify that the new asset is listed and its files are now available. One more thing uh, about the watch folder, you can see there's an element to monitor it in case you want to do things like trending the number of files dropped in there over time. With the Data Miner Media Asset Management solution, you can handle an ever-growing number of assets reduce operational complexity by having data miner manage capacity and prioritizing resources, and of course, improving customer experience. For more information on Data Miner Media Asset Manager solution, visit our Open Dojo community, where you'll find anything and everything about ICT, media, and broadband. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.